Keep us, O Lord, carry us back. Rouse your power and call. Rescue your people, show us your face. Bring us back. Bring us back. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that purifying us by the sacred practice of penance, you may lead us in sincerity of heart to attain the holy things to come. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Genesis. Israel loved Joseph best of all his sons, for he was the child of his old age and he had made him a long tunic. When his brothers saw that their father loved him best of all his sons, they hated him so much that they would not even greet him. One day, when his brothers had gone to pasture their father's flock at Shechem, Israel said to Joseph, Your brothers, you know, are tending our flocks at Shechem. Get ready, I will send you to them. So Joseph went after his brothers and caught up with them in Dotan. They noticed him from a distance, and before he came up to them, they plotted to kill him. They said to one another, Here comes that master of dreamer. Come on. Let us kill him and throw him into one of the cisterns here. We could say that a wild beast devoured him. We shall then see what comes of his dreams. When Reuben heard this, he tried to save him from their hands, saying, We must not take his life. Instead of shedding blood, he continued, just throw him into that cistern there in the desert, but do not kill him outright. His purpose was to rescue him from their hands and return him to his father. So when Joseph came up to them, they stripped him of the long tunic he had on. Then they took him and threw him into the cistern, which was empty and dry. They then sat down to their meal. Looking up, they saw a caravan of Ismailites coming into Gilead, their camels laden with gum, balm, and resin, to be taken down to Egypt. Judah said to his brothers, What is to be gained by killing our brother and concealing his blood? Rather, let us sell him to these Ismailites instead of doing away with him ourselves. After all, he is our brother, our own flesh. His brothers agreed. They sold Joseph to the Ismailites for 20 pieces of silver. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Responsorial Psalm. Remember the marvels the Lord has done. Remember the marvels that the Lord has done. When the Lord called down a 
famine on the land and ruin the crop that sustained them. He sent a man before them, Joseph, sold as a slave. Remember the marvels the Lord has done. They, have, they had weighed him down with fetters, and he was bound with chains, till his prediction came to pass, and the word of the Lord proved him true. Remember the marvels the Lord has done. The king sent and released him. The ruler of the people set him free. He made him lord of his house and ruler of all his possessions. Remember the marvels the Lord has done. Let us all stand. Spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to the chief priests and the elders of the people, Hear another parable. There was a landowner who planted a vineyard, put a hedge around it, dug a wine press in it, and built a tower. Then he leased it to tenants and went on a journey. When vintage time drew near, he sent his servants to the tenants to obtain his produce. But the tenants seized the servants, and one they beat, another they killed, and a third they stoned. Again he sent other servants more numerous than the first ones, but they treated them in the same way. Finally, he sent his son to them, thinking, they will respect my son. But when the tenants saw the son, they said to one another, this is the heir. Come, let us kill him and acquire his inheritance. They seized him, threw him out of the vineyard, and killed him. What will the owner of the vineyard do to those tenants when he comes? They answered him, He will put those wretched men to wretched death and lease his vineyard to other tenants who will give him the produce at the proper times. Jesus said to them, Did you never read in the scriptures? The stone that the builders rejected has become the cornerstone. By the Lord has this been done, and it is wonderful in our eyes. Therefore I say to you, the kingdom of God will be taken away from you and given to a people that will produce its fruit. When the chief priests and the Pharisees heard these parables, they knew that he was speaking about them. And although they were attempting to arrest him, they feared the crowds, for they regarded him as a prophet. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Magandang hapon po sa inyong lahat. Welcome po sa Parish and National Shrine of St. Padre Pio. We heard in our Gospel today, the Friday, second week of Lent, and the first Friday of the month of March, the parable of the tenants. It is the history of the Israelite people told in parable form. 
the owner of the vineyard is God. The vineyard is the house of Israel where God's people are to be found. The tenants of the vineyard are the people of God. Servants sent to collect the harvest who are abused in various ways, beaten, killed, or stoned, represents the prophets and other spokespersons sent by God to His people, many of whom are rejected, not listened to, and even abused. And finally, the owner decides to send his son, saying, they will respect my son. And that beloved son is Jesus. But they also seized the son, threw him out of the vineyard, and killed him. A clear reference to Jesus being crucified outside the walls of, Jer of Jerusalem. And the vineyard is let out to new tenants. Those Jews and Gentiles, the new people of God who believe in Jesus as Lord and Savior. Mga minamahal ko mga kapatid, ito ang kwento ng kasaysayan ng pagliligtas ng Diyos sa atin. At ang pagliligtas na ito ng Diyos sa atin ay nagpapaalala sa atin kung gaano tayo kamahal ng Diyos. Kung paano niya isinugo ang kanyang bugtong na anak, kanyang minamahal na anak, para tayo ay iligtas. At bilang mga katiwala ng Panginoon, we are once again reminded that God calls us to bear fruit for His kingdom. God gives us a job, a mission to fulfill. So ba na, paano ba natin ginagampanan ang ating mga tungkulin bilang mga alagad ng ating Panginoon? Paano ba natin isinasabuhay ang ating pananampalataya bilang mga katoliko? Ano kaya ang ating ginagawa para sa Panginoon? Ano kaya ang ating isusulit sa Kanya pagdating ng panahon? Ano kaya ang masasabi natin, iaalay natin sa Diyos na bunga ng ating mga paghihirap at sakripisyo. God is waiting for our produce. Naantay ng Diyos ang bunga ng ating mga paghihirap, ng ating mga sakripisyo, ng ating pamumuhay bilang Kanyang mga alagad. And as we go back to the Father, let us offer Him the fruits of our labor na nagmula rin naman sa Kanyang kabutihan at kagandahang loob. Amen. For your offerings in the envelope, you may drop them at the collection baskets.
please all stand. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. May your merciful grace prepare your servants, O God, for the worthy celebration of these mysteries and lead them to it by a devout way of life. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you will that our self-denial should give you thanks, humble our sinful pride, contribute to the feeding of the poor, and so help us imitate you in your kindness. And so we glorify you with countless angels, as with one voice of praise we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, O Son in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name. Those who cannot kneel, please remain standing with reverence. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time, he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate, the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Gilbert our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Saint Joseph, her most chaste spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, 
we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him. O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Stand. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will. this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Peace. Peace. Lamb of God, who take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, who take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, who take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Those who cannot kneel, please remain standing with reverence. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Oh, Papa, oh, oh. 
The second collection, which will be done, is for the continuing development of the parish and national shrine of St. Father Pio and for the needs and welfare of the sick and retired priest of the Archdiocese of Lipa. Thank you for your offering. Let us all stand. Let us pray. Grant your people, O Lord, we pray, health of mind and body, that by constancy in good deeds, they may always merit the defense of your protection. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. 
Prayer for intercession to Saint Padre Pio. All together, Padre Pio, Holy Monk from Pietrelcina, outstanding saint of the present era, our bright beacon on this earthly pilgrimage, our sanctuary in times of trouble, holy exemplar of great courage, we to our needs do we confide, as well as our livelihood, our health, and our might. Unworthy as we are, we pray that you concede, bless and grace us that our lives may be fulfilled. From sin may we abstain, in God may we remain. We also beseech thee, servant of the Most Holy, to instruct us in the gospel, that we may reflect and believe. Our requests are before thee, our hearts repent, resolving earnestly to not sin again, to always follow God the Father, together with the Spirit, and Jesus the Mediator. Amen. Please be seated for some announcements. Una, sa inyong pagdalaw sa pambansan dambana, mangyaring pakaingatan ang inyong mga personal na gamit. Hangad namin ang isang matiwasay at maayos na pagbisita sa National Shrine. Ikalawa, mga kapiyo, kami po'y humihingi na inyong kaunting oras at pakikiisa para sa pagsusulat ng inyong mga pangalan at ilang detalye sa ating Pilgrim's Information Record Books na makikita sa paligid nating mga simbahan. Ito po ay bahagi ng documentation program para sa pagpapalawig ng mga datos at turismong pangsimbahan at bilang alaala din ng inyong pagbisita sa Pambansandambana. Para po sa ating mga balikbayan, OFW at mga kasama niyong foreigners, doon po kayo magsusulat sa International Pilgrims Record Book. Gagabayan po kayo na ating mga tagapaglingkod. Ikatlo, sa Centers for Reconciliation at bahagi ng pagsasakripisyo ngayong panahon ng Kuwaresma, tayo po ay inaanyayahang mangumpisal at magsisi sa ating mga kasalanan. Makikita po ninyo sa screen ang mga confession schedule. Gayun din naman, mayroon po tayong pagdarasal na istasyon ng Cruz tuwing araw ng biyernes sa ganap na ikatatlo ng hapon. Ang aklat dasalan po ay available sa ating mga tindahan. Ikalima, mga kapiyo, bahagi pa din ang ating pagpapalalim ng pananampalatay at pagninilay ngayon ng panahon ng Kwaresma. Ang ating lakbay parokya ay gagawin natin sa ilang mga simbahan sa Pampanga sa darating na March 21, 2024. Para sa mga nagnana isumama, kayo po ay magpalista sa opisina ng parokya sa halagang 2,500 piso hanggang ngayong March 10 lamang. Ikaanim, ngayong Sabado, ikalawa ng Marso, ay unang Sabado ng buwan. Mayroon po tayong prosesyon sa karangalan ng mahal na birhen sa ganap na ikalima ng umaga na sisimula natin sa may harap ng Fountain of Hope. Ang mga sasama ay inaanyayahang magdala ng kandila. Maraming salamat po at mangyaring panatilihin natin ang kalinisan, katahimikan at diwa ng pananalangin sa loob at labas ng ating mga simbahan. Magsitayo na po ang lahat para sa pagbabasbas na religious articles. Mga kapatid, manalangin tayo sa Diyos amang makapangyarihan upang tayo ay maging kawangis ni Kristo sa time-team na pagdalangin sa tulong ng mga larawan at mga dasalan. O Panginoong Diyos, Ikaw ang buka ng lahat ng pagpapala at biyaya. Ibus mo ang iyong bendisyon sa mga gamit na ito sa pananalangin, mga rosaryo, imahen, dasalan, na nagpapaalala ng iyong kabutihan, kabanalan at pagmamahal sa amin, upang ang lahat na dumulog at magdasal gamit ang mga ito ay magtamo ng iyong awa at biyaya. Loobin mong tularan nila ang kabanalan at aral ng Panginoon at ang mga santo, magpasawalang hanggan. Amen. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, 
but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may the Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Mass has been offered. Go in peace. Thanks, Thanks be to you. God. Sa sarili lang